Hello everyone, another walkabout. Nice day today, a little bit on the blowy side, so we'll have to see how we get on. I've actually got a handy uh, tool on the video editor that I use. It's called a noise remover, so I can actually pick out an awful lot of the wind when I edit it before I publish it, so hopefully it won't be too bad. Anyway, Sadiq Khan seems to be trending quite heavily, doesn't he, on social media. And the news, simple reason is, 2nd of May is fast approaching and we've got the London Mayor elections. Now there was a hustings hosted on the LBC by Ian Dale and you had the Conservative candidate, the Labour candidate and other candidates as well all putting forward their stalk and what they're going to do for London and uh, how they're going to proceed. Now one glaring omission with the LBC hustings I noted was Howard Cox was completely excluded. You know, he is a candidate for the Mayor of London. He's put himself forward. He says he's going to, you know, try and get the position. And a lot of his policies and what he says, for example, scrapping ULES, heavily increasing the number of police officers on the streets and getting tough on things that, let's face it, people get away with now. They make a heck of a lot of sense. Yeah, he was excluded. Why is that? And then you rely on smaller outlets like me to try and help publicise the fact that they're there and the fact that they want the job. Hmm. Sucks a bit, that, doesn't it? Well, one of the major problems, well, there's a couple of major problems, actually, with regard to some, some of the things that Khan and Hall are promising, prospectively, if they get in, is ULES. Let's start with ULES. Now, Howard Cox says he'll scrap the thing in total and get everything moving again, put a bit more money in people's pockets. That's a vote winner in itself, isn't it? Uh, Sadiq Khan will keep it and let's face it all of the stuff that's come out of the news at the moment you're going to end up with paper mile sooner or later they deny it until they're blue in the face but all the evidence is there for all to see that paper mile is going to be a thing and of course Susan Hall the Conservative candidate well she says she's going to scrap the ULES expansion. She's not going to scrap anything. It's just a word to try and get into office. Now, what will happen, of course, there'll be an excuse or there'll be something somewhere which means, oh, sorry, we can't scrap it after all. That's quite obvious. Well, you turn to crime. Crime in London, crime everywhere. As you see from what happened with St George's Day, the police have all their priorities wrong, don't they? And they tend to cause trouble like a bully in a school ground. Not the best, not the best. Well, Sadiq Khan made a, made a very interesting comment. He said if he saw a shoplifter in a, in a store, he's gonna cross this road here, and they were stealing uh, children's goods like nappies and baby food and that sort of thing he would put his hand in his pocket and pay for it on their behalf and that big of him well I don't know what to think about that because there's a couple of problems isn't there number one a crime has just been committed you don't pay for crime you punish it to make sure it doesn't happen again but why has that crime been so brazenly committed? Where is the law enforcement? It isn't there, is it? Or it's been completely misappropriated and doing something else they really shouldn't, concentrating on hurty words and all that sort of thing. And also, why have people got to steal a pack of nappies in the first place? Cost of living. How much is it? How much money? 
is left in the pocket of Londoners after they pay all the extortionate rents, council tax, ULES charge and everything else. There's an awful lot of problems, isn't there? So, Sadiq, instead of treating the symptom, here's an idea for you. Treat the cause. What's gone wrong? Fix it. Get head out of one's backside and work out how to repair those issues. Who am I? I'm just a taxi driver from Margate. But it's blankly obvious that there's massive problems. I think Sadiq Khan needs to uh, lose the position of mayor in London. I don't think S uh, Susan Hall will be much good either, because yet again, it's just more of the same. And you're getting the vote jockeys coming out saying we must vote Conservative to get Labour Sadiq Khan out of office. So you want more of the same, more of the same failure that we've had for all these years. You want a third term of that, do you? Yes, we got first past the post, and yes, historically that's the way it should work, I suppose, but... <sighs> Do you really believe that anymore? I know I don't. And it needs to change drastically for the better. Otherwise, we ain't gonna get anywhere, are we? Think about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hit the like button on this video because it helps the algorithm spread it around. Subscribe to the channel, and if you've got social media, I wouldn't mind a share. Thanks everyone, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Toodaloo.